Hey everyone, this is Cyrus for iPhoneAppSpotter.com. Today I'm testing TI Inspire. It's by the guys at Hexus Instrument. And they shouldn't really need any introduction. Anyone who's been to college and high school, and you've probably had those TI-83, 84, those type of calculators. Actually, a lot of colleges require you to have those when you're taking science classes because it's important to be able to calculate equations fast, especially when you're doing class following following problems now I'm I'm glad that these guys are actually getting more involved and having bringing their technology to iPad I actually like their iPad version even though it's a little bit expensive it's 30 bucks it does have a lot of features for you to go through so I'm just gonna go through them quickly you can go you have your calculator you have graph geometry spreadsheet data and statistics and notes I'm just gonna go and try a couple of things just to show you how this works. Sign 90 degrees, it's one. You can do calculations like that. 10 to the power of six. So it makes entering information, I didn't enter that right, so, but you, it makes entering information as far as equations very easy, you can create more new ones if you want, and, and you can have multiple worksheets per se, if you can, if I'm calling them with documents, so you can organize your problems that way, which is very nice. Now, some of the features that you get is you can graph functions, you have handle inequalities, uh, scatter plots, statistical models, 3D graphs. You can also create your equations for instance, to solve a problem and store it here or use it as a cheat sheet for exams. You can do a lot of cool things. It's much more sophisticated than let's just say a calculator. I'm sure TI-84 and those types of calculators have a lot of things that the geeks among us can go and play around with. I've seen people do some crazy things with those. But when you have an iPad, a touch screen, user interface, you get a lot going for it. So let me just delete. You have all these different options if you want to go and do simulations, let's say. Change options, let's say change friction. So you have that. Discard my changes. Let's go do some math. Can learn more. I'm more interested in, let's say, graphing feature. So if I change that, let's say, edit that to 5x, maybe. That's 5x. Let's edit that 5x times log of x. log of 5x so you can have graphing you can change op options here zooming actions let's say you can zoom in and zoom out f2 is 10x
can change line colors if you like. So you have a lot of it, you have get a lot of flexibility there. So let me just go and show you some other tools before I run out of time. Geometry. Changing options there. Three D graphing. Interactive, so you can go through geometry problems. You have list and spreadsheet. The spreadsheet is pretty straightforward. I'm not going to even cover it. You have data and the statistics. You can action. You can insert text. You can insert value, a slider. You can insert values easily. Let's do a vertical one also. So you have flexible, a lot of flexibility there. And you, you can also have learn if you're going through the simulation, as I mentioned. But these tools, are, the good thing is you don't have to use all these tools. For instance, if you don't know anything about statistics and you're not taking that class, you can just go and deal with the basic functions and plotting. And there's a getting a started guide that you want to go through, I recommend it. You have all these different documents to go through. So it does take a little bit of time, but you do pay $29 or something, $29.99, and you can easily do. So you have a lot of really good options. So long as your math problem is not something so sophisticated that this tool can't handle, you should be able to cover it, especially for college students. And we shouldn't be, uh, be you shouldn't have any trouble entering your information. 3D graphing. Five and six, maybe. Oops, syntax. So yeah, you want to be careful about the syntax and you get angles, you get matrices, you have integrals, you can easily add, just touch the parts that you want to add and you're covered. So this is TI Inspire by the guys at Texas Instrument. You can, as you can see, you can use it for data visualization. Get for plotting, solving problems, for calculations, for simulations, for statistics, geometry. You can enter your math notations, as you can see. Sigma. You can combine them, as you can see. So you can have sophisticated, complex math problems, and you can solve it that way. You can touch the parts to enter your information, and based the Basically, you can keep track of your problems. You can have multiple ones, as you can see. You can add multiple ones, and I can have a graph. I can have a geometry, so I can, and moving from one to another is easy as well. The downside, it's $29.99. The good news is these guys do run promotions, it seems. We got ours for $4.99, which I thought was a steal based on what the app offers. And uh, it does work well, and I don't have to go to my... TI 83, for instance, to calculate when I have this. Obviously, we've covered a lot of calculator apps in the past. This is a little bit more sophisticated than those, so you want to be aware of that. The last time it was updated was on February 18, 2003, 2013. I hope you enjoyed this review. I'm going to put together a more detailed tutorial for this application because I just wanted to show you what it offers and I didn't get a chance to cover everything and I did have some syntax errors for internet information. So I want to 
fix that and also show you how each of these tools can help you. So that's coming maybe on our other channel that I'm starting to just cover app tips and that's coming soon. Thanks very much for watching guys.